Hi, today we are going to start looking at angles and how they relate to parallel lines. So we'll look at some features of parallel lines today. So first thing we'll talk about is a transversal. A transversal is a line that intersects two or more of our lines. So technically, this line here would be a transversal because it's crossing two lines. It could cross three lines, four lines. As long as it crosses two lines, it is a transversal. Now, we have interior angles as well. These are any angles formed by a transversal and two parallel lines. Now, we can tell if lines are parallel because they will have matching arrows on them. So we've got one arrow here, one arrow here. So these are parallel. Sometimes we'll also, for example, have two arrows and two arrows. And that would show that they're parallel. Now, any angles formed by our transversal and those parallel lines that are between the two parallel lines would be considered interior angles. So this would be an interior angle. This would be an interior angle. This would be another interior angle. And this would be another interior angle. So these four are interior angles. Exterior angles are very similar, but any angles formed by the transversal and two parallel lines that are outside of our parallel lines. So this would be an exterior angle. This would be an exterior angle. This would, sorry. This would be an exterior angle. And this would be an exterior angle. This brings us to something known as corresponding angles. So one interior and one exterior angle that are non-adjacent and on the same side of the transversal. When a transversal intersects a pair of parallel lines, the corresponding angles are equal. So it essentially means that if we have a transversal crossing parallel lines, If we have angles in the same location in regards to this transversal and the parallel lines, they will be equal to each other. So for example, this course, this angle here is in the same relative position to this one here. So these two are known as corresponding angles. So they would be equal to each other. So if this was 100 degrees, this would also be 100 degrees. Now that also means that this angle here is going to be corresponding to this angle here. And this angle corresponds to this angle. And lastly, this angle corresponds to this angle. So anytime we have a transversal uh, intersecting two parallel lines, we're actually going to have four different sets of corresponding angles. So we'll do an example, calculate all angles. So we have this one is 102 degrees. Now its corresponding angle would be here. So therefore this one is 102 degrees. Now from previous grades, we know a straight line adds up to 180 degrees. So therefore, we know that angle D plus angle E must equal 180. So we want to find angle E. So we know angle E equals 180 minus angle D. So we have angle E is equal to 180 minus 102. So angle E is 78 degrees. So we've got Angle E is 78 degrees. Now that corresponds with angle A, so we know that that's 78 degrees. Now let's solve for, let's say, B next. So we know that, once again, straight lines, so they must add up to 180. So we know that angle A 
cross angle B must equal 180. We're solving for angle B, so we know angle B equals 180 minus angle A. So we have angle B is equal to 180 minus 78, which is 102. So this here is 102 degrees. Now this brings us to another rule. So depending on where you look at it, it's named slightly different things. Sometimes it's called vertically opposite angle. Sometimes it's diagonally opposite. But essentially, if we have two angles that are directly across an intersection from each other, and their sides are formed by the same two lines, those angles are equal. So because these are diagonally opposite, they are both the same, which also means that these two are diagonally opposite, so they're both 78. We can utilize that down here, or we can use our corresponding angle. So if this is 102, that corresponds to this as 102. Alternatively, it is diagonally opposite from this. This one's diagonally opposite from this, so it get, gives us 78, which also corresponds to that 78. Okay, so with this next question, are the two lines intersected by a transverse parallel? So one way we can tell if they are parallel or not is if we have corresponding angles that equal each other. If they do, then it's going to be parallel. If they do not, then it won't be. So I would probably start by solving for this angle here. So we know that angle is going to equal 180 minus 118. which gives us 62 degrees. Now, that does not match its corresponding angle, so they are not parallel. Some additional angle relationships that may come up in this unit is complementary. So if we have a 90 degree angle, two angles that add to that 90, would be complementary. So in this case, A plus B would equal 90 degrees. Supplementary, which is also known as a linear pair, are angles along a straight line. We know they must add up to 180. Adjacent angles just means next to each other. They don't have to add up to a particular amount. And we just talked about vertically or diagonally opposite angles.